While the opposition basks in glory after its win in the Luero by-election, the ruling party on the other hand is facing tough questions as to why it lost in what once was its political maker. In a strongly worded reaction, the president accused the opposition of vote rigging and other underhand methods to win the election. Quote, a rumor was passed by somebody telling voters not to walk to the polling station, that the NRM will send money or vehicles for transport. Many voters stayed at home and the corrupt election officials, along with the criminal opposition, used the absentee names for ticking in favor of the anti-NRM candidate. The president of the opposition Democratic Party, Norbert Mao, put Museven's utterances to fury. Upset. The, he's filming. And I don't see any evidence of the wild allegations that he's making in his long rant. They also say the elections were free and fair. Now, the NRM people don't volunteer. The people voted. And voted, clearly you could see that they overwhelmingly voted Brenda now Kenya. They just want to state it, they only live in fear. So the president should not meander around. The NRM acting secretary general and minister without portfolio Richard Todong thinks otherwise. He says there were many cases of intimidation. Supporters were heavily intimidated by opposition. Our supporters were beaten. Our supporters were harassed. Even on the polling day, they were, some of them were locked up in their houses. They didn't go out to vote. The Democratic Party that won with other 16,000 votes stresses that it was a margin well deserved while the NRM disputes the figures. That wide margin is actually a tribute to our vigilance. So we practiced exactly what he is now saying NRM should do. So if you add up all that in all the polling stations, you will not come out with the 16,000 votes. For the opposition, it's a lesson well learned about unity. Processes and results cannot be delinked. So these are things that we are doing. Yes. And I think Luero has given citizens the opportunity to take a second look at the opposition. Yes. The Electoral Commission, whose officials are being blamed for allegedly colluding with the opposition, have so far declined to comment, saying they are still studying the president's accusations. More research all, NTV.